Yep. Anakin, right. come, here. Hold on. come here. So the, the Hawaiian Islands, they, they formed in a, in a succession, succession where the, the lava comes up through a hot spot. They would come up and it would form an island. And then the, the plate would shift. So it would have, would have started with, uh, with Kauai here, and then Oahu, and then Molokai, and then Maui. And then the big island. And so the hot spot would come up and it would form an island. And then the Pacific plate was shifting gradually to the north uh, northwest. So it would form an island and then that would shift. And then the hot spot would be under this one. And it would form that island and then these two would shift. Then it would form the next one and then that would shift. And then all the way until you get to the big island where the hot spot is now at, at this end of the big island. And there's there's even another volcano that, that's under the water right now that's forming another island over here that'll probably come up in a couple of hundred thousand years. They already have a name for it. I think it's called Lo Loihi. And so uh, the island of uh, Hawaii is, is one volcano. Oahu is two volcanoes. And then Molokai is one with a flow this way. And then Maui is two volcanoes. The second volcano is Haleakala. And then uh, the big island is five volcanoes. Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and then a couple of other ones. And so this island, I'll show you guys how this island was formed. So the, the first volcano was uh, Waianae. So that's the, that's the mountain that you see behind me. That's the Waianae mountain range. So this island, this, this volcano came up first. And so you, you would have had the, the caldera in the middle of the of the volcano there. So that's why now. Then another volcano came up. Next to it. And it kind of filled in in the middle. You get the saddle in the middle. And that's what we're going to be driving through later. The, the Dole Pineapple Plantation is up here. So you got a lot of a lot of flat land, that's where you can do a lot of farming. And then the water runs out this way, you get the Haleiwa Harbor. And then it runs out this way, you get the Pearl Harbor there. So you got a nice nice harbor there for the rivers that run get down there. And so that that's two volcanoes. But then uh, there was an avalanche, a huge avalanche, where this mountain range here kind of split down the middle, and half of it fell into the ocean that way. And so now you can look at the underwater maps of the ocean and you can see that debris and rubble from that landslide extending 100 miles to the northeast. And so that's the side of the island that we were on earlier. This is the Koalau mountain range. So that's the windward side. And then you get the, the wind comes in from the northeast. We've got a pretty constant 15 mile an hour wind that comes in. It's been traveling across the ocean, so it's collected all this moisture. And when it hits the mountains here, it has nowhere to go but up. And the mountains here are 2,000 2, feet. So as, as the air comes up, it cools and condenses and creates clouds, and then it, then it rains here. And then you get the, the erosion from the rain over thousands and millions of years that has eroded this side of the island down like that. And that's why you get those, those sharp cliffs that we saw on that side of the island. And this side here kind of eroded on this side too. So that's the Waianae mountain range and the Ko'olau mountain range. It's the island of Oahu, that's how And then later, we got those, uh, those, plate, those things like Diamond Head and Punchbowl Crater and Coco Crater that we talked about earlier that were the late three eruptions. So along here you got uh, Diamond Head out here, Punchbowl Crater. Panama Bay, uh, that's Coco Head, and Coco Crater. They came up, and they're kind of a uh, kind of in a fissure right there, where all the little ones came up. They look like volcanoes, but they're little tough ones. This was the volcano, two volcanoes. So those little things that you see that look like volcanoes are really more just like vents or splatter cones. They actually call them tough cones, and, and they all formed around that edge of the Koalau Range, way after this island was done forming. It was already forming the other islands, and for some reason, some of the lava came back up and formed 